the faith in Islam starts with two things. First, accepting that Allah Almighty as the only God. And second, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, as his final messenger. A lot of Muslims try to follow Sunnah, which is the way of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. This could be following his words, actions, or teaching. Hello everyone, how are you guys doing today? It's your boy Ayan Lukman, and welcome back to FTD Facts, where we talk about the interesting world that we live in. In this video, we will talk about the 10 favorite foods of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So first up on the list is milk. We already know that milk is associated with strengthening the bones, and it has many other healthy effects for the human body. The Prophet believes that milk cools the body and mind and is very helpful for the eyesight. The Holy Prophet used to love having milk from goat and camels. Back then, during the Prophet's time, drinking milk from the camel or a goat was very common. Next up on the list is barley, which is used in the form of flour to make bread. The Holy Prophet said that barley is very essential for humans. When barley is cooked in the form of hot soup, it is really good for fever. Barley is considered to be one of the world's healthiest nourishment. Modern scientific research has proved the great effects of this food on health. Grapes are considered to be one of the most consumed fruits in the world. Medically speaking, it is proved to be helpful in purification of blood as well as cleansing of one's kidney. The Holy Prophet was fond of grapes and would eat them keenly. In the Holy Quran, it was mentioned to be one of the fruits of heaven. Next up on the list are figs. Figs are linked to curing stomach problems, they are good for bones, and are used for curing constipation and piles. Figs are actually known to be one of the most desired foods by the Holy Prophet. The Holy Prophet himself labels figs as one of the fruits of paradise. On number six, we have a pumpkin. The Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him's favorite vegetable was actually pumpkin. Pumpkins are not easily available, but they're loaded with benefits for the human body. It is medically proven as a source of lowering prostate cancer, protects from the swelling of joints, it helps with the wrinkle on your face, as well as protects your vital organs. If you guys are enjoying the video, please make sure to hit the like button and make sure to subscribe. Olives along figs are mentioned to be one of the foods of paradise as it's mentioned in the holy book, the Quran. Olives are considered to be an excellent means of treatment for skin and hair. It is known to slow down the process of aging. The prophet used to take it himself and he was suggested to other people because of its great healing effects. Next up on number four is honey. Honey is considered to be the best natural therapy for curing almost every disease. The Holy Prophet would preach that honey is the remedy for every illness. When honey is mixed with hot water, it can be used to cure stuff like diarrhea. When now honey is mixed with pepper and ginger, it helps cure stuff like coughing and mucus. And fun fact, honey is the only food that never spoils. On number three, we have melons. As we know, melons are rich in water and energy. They are also known to be really good for fertility. The Prophet used to say, that no woman who eats melon during pregnancy will fail to give birth to a child with good character. Next up on the list, we have pomegranates. They have multiple healing benefits, ranging from cancer prevention to improving digestion. They are a good source of antioxidants, which removes a free radical, protects cells from being damaged, and reduces inflammation. The Holy Prophet also said that while eating pomegranate, it cleanses you of evil thoughts and evil deeds for about 40 days. So number one on the list, we have dates. Dates are a powerhouse of vitamin and minerals as well as a great source of fiber. The Holy Prophet praised dates a lot. He would eat them whenever he had the chance to. He said that a house without dates is no house. Another thing he mentioned is that eating seven ajwa dates, which is a type of dates in the morning, will protect you from any sort of witchcraft. I hope you guys enjoy these 10 favorite foods of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Please make sure to comment down below to let me know what you guys think. And also follow my social media and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.